my channel I know you're thinking are you joking me Jessica you are not a makeup artist well you're right I'm not a makeup artist however I am trying to get better at doing my makeup and I've been taking lots of advice on board experimenting and I'm going out tonight and I thought let's do my makeup together you can see the kind of more glam look that I'll do because I have done a video which is my everyday makeup but this is my more glam going out makeup so we'll get into it but first if you're not subscribed do subscribe I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and give this video a like because I guarantee you're going to enjoy it if you want to see how I achieved my kind of bronzy glam look then keep watching there's two great things about this video so far the first thing is that you are balancing on the radiator and a pair of chef jeff's boxes if you watched my last video actually i had you in the sink so are we surprised no not really like if you're gonna do a get ready with me or kind of like makeup tutorial vibe then you need to use the professional clips which i never use but i'm gonna use them today because it makes me look more legit if you disagree then you're wrong hello i have actually like taken off all of my makeup it's what's the time i have no idea what the time is half two in the afternoon so i have i did my skincare this morning and then i went to the gym so i've just taken it all off and i'm gonna prep my face with this if you ever watch any of my other videos a lovely girl called charlotte thomas does my makeup quite regularly and she uses the charlotte tilbury magic cream as like the primer lovely but very expensive and she said that this which is the wellada skin food light is like a really good alternative for your makeup base so i'm giving it a try and we will see how we go but very high hopes also i'm not sure if you can tell but i did do my maintenance night last night so i do have a fresh layer of tan on i'd say go and watch my maintenance night but it's probably the one video on my channel that i literally would rather you didn't i'll just link it up here do what you want with it one side of me is like yes i want the views the other side is like well i have no dignity left after that video literally okay as soon as we're going all out under my foundation i'm gonna use the by terry cc serum i'm gonna pull my jacket down because i don't want to get it on my jacket but i'm also gonna like put this over my chest as well so i'm just gonna shove it on oh god it's just one of those ones that like sprays everywhere thank you it's really helpful i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this so i'm a little bit more bronzy and then yeah i'm gonna squeeze it onto my chest and just like buff it in a bit this product is very expensive and i've had it for absolutely ages and i never really use it and the reason i don't use it is because i don't personally think it's that great everyone raves about it i like it on holiday i don't think this is like worth the extortionate price tag so if you were thinking about it personally i'd say don't bother but you do you okay so foundation i'm gonna use the nars natural radiant longwear foundation and this is in the color barcelona i wish i was in barcelona right now i've actually never been to barcelona and i know this isn't the way you're supposed to apply foundation but i'm not a makeup artist we know that already that's why you're watching because you're ready to watch me mess up no i'm sure you're not so i am using the same brush arrest me but i'm gonna kind of pack this on to be honest because i quite fancy like a full coverage look because we're going for a glam look tonight i usually use this is my normal everyday foundation i use the it cosmetics your skin but better cc that's one i wear every single day but because we're going out i want to wear actual foundation tonight you know treat myself because i don't regularly wear like full foundation and i do like this one this is the one i've been using for ages but because i literally only wear actual foundation if i'm going out which is insanely rarely uh, <laughs> I, I literally never buy a new one basically i'm gonna put a bit more of that on where's me wee beauty blender i, I moistened you and now you've disappeared it's handy isn't it i'm gonna do another little layer of that and then beauty blender it in we go in with the concealer i really hope that charlotte the makeup artist i was referring to isn't watching this video because she will be rolling her eyes at me but that's okay i'm just basically gonna buff this until the cows come home so see you in about four hours one eternity later okay that's pretty much my foundation done i'm now gonna go in with some concealer and i've actually been using this one for freaking ages and i love it and this is the only one i've used if that makes sense like i haven't re-bought this and i've been using it for like since the summer honestly it's ginormous it's the born this way 
concealer. I'm using the shade Almond. And I just like, I don't want to put too much on because I'm actually going to use two concealers. And that's because Charlotte uses two concealers. So I'm going to use two concealers and I'm just going to put it in all the high points of the face. That's what they say, isn't it? And I'm going to dab this one in before I go in with my second concealer. We're actually going to one of Chef Jeff's friends 30ths tonight. I was trying to do a bit of a sober 2022. I didn't drink for the whole of January. And if you watched our Valentine's date night video, which I'll also link up here, I had two April spritz in that video. And that was like whatever date that was, the 12th of Feb or whatever. And that's the only drink I've had in 2022 so far. This is the second concealer I'm using, by the way. It's the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Oh yeah, it's number five. Colour number five. Yeah, I just want to say that I don't drink because then if I fancy a drink, then kind of shot myself in the foot. But I'm definitely going to drink less, only because it really makes me hungover. And I know everyone gets hangovers, but for me in particular, I just think it's not a good time. But overall, I've been loving my sober 2022 and I feel great for it. I feel productive, feel energetic. So yeah, this concealer is just like, it just brightens it up a bit more. It's like quite pale and I like putting it on my chin. Well, my chin is where I used to get my really bad acne. So I'm really used to just like throwing concealer all over my chin because when I used to have acne before, I never had anything on my cheek, rarely had anything on my forehead to be honest, but my chin would just be covered. I know I, I know, like chin is like horm hormonal where you get spots. So there was some sort of hormone hormonal imbalance, but it wasn't really until kind of lockdown that it all cleared up completely. Chef Jeff is texting me saying, you there? Yes, ish. We're a bit preoccupied. If you haven't listened to mine and Jeff's podcast, by the way, the link to it is always in the description. Our new podcast, the Nourish and Gain podcast. When this video goes up, we will be releasing episode four tomorrow. He's texted me because he's in Zara and wants opinions. So maybe I'll show you as well. We can both give our opinion. Episode four tomorrow is a good one. And it's all about female fat loss and kind of like training around your menstrual cycle and diet around your menstrual cycle and all that sort of good stuff. So definitely check that one out. It'll be up at 8 a.m. tomorrow if you're watching this when it goes up. Okay, that is my foundation and concealer pretty much done. I'm gonna do bronzer now. I'm just gonna use this bronzer, which is the Hoola Caramel. I really like this, this color actually. And I use two brushes. So I use this one to go in and try and be a bit more precise in where I'm putting it. like. So I guess you could kind of call it like contoury. And then I use a bigger brush to like go into my like chin and my forehead and stuff. So I'm just gonna try and precision this on the cheekbones. And then I'll kind of buff it all out with a big brush. I also like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark or Dark Tan. Yeah, that one's really nice. But I do really like this one too. Basically the last week or so I have been selling all of my clothes on Vinted. <laughs> if you've watched my videos since like the beginning, then you would have been here when I was moving out of my mum. So I moved back in with my mum last January now. So over a year ago when we lost my stepdad. Whilst I was there, like I literally trying to just, you know, cull all of my stuff before me and Jeff moved in together. And I literally sold loads of my stuff on Vinted and I was just in my vlogs, I'd always be like going to the post office, hilarious. But um, so yeah, I'm just using this big Morphe brush now to do my neck and stuff. But yeah, I just, I really wanna be, not like a minimalist, but my goal is to have like a capsule wardrobe. I should wanna have like a basic wardrobe. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did like a whole wardrobe clear out and I just tried to organize like the bits that I actually wear. And there it's just piles and piles of stuff that has just been hanging there for years, like dresses and skirts and like, you know, blouses. And I just don't wear any of them. Like I wear active wear every single day. And if I go out, I always wear a blazer and jeans or like a blazer and leather trousers. So it's just completely unnecessary to have all these like green dresses and floral dresses and whatnot. So. If you wanna shop my vintage, I will leave the description below because there's a lot of stuff on it. Grab yourself a bargain. Okay, so that's my bronzer done. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. I just use the Refi, I think they call it pomade. Let me find my little spoolie. And then this is a Morphe brush as well. Most people use the pencil, like the Refi pencil, but I've always been like a powder eyebrow girl. I've got a lot of eyebrow, got a lot going on, and the pencil I just find a bit annoying. I like the powder, so. I'm gonna continue to do that. But yeah, this one's really good. You just like kind of dip it in and then draw on. So I'm gonna do it in my mirror, but hopefully you'll see. And then just brush it through. I do set it with like the Refi gel as well. Hopefully you can see that one just looks a bit more like fluffier and fuller 
So I'll come back to you when I've done brow number two. Okay, brow is done. I'm just gonna set them in place with this Refi brow gel. Okay, I'm going to do my eyes now. I'm not great at eyes, but we will endeavor to do our best. I do have a very good palette situation going on. Chef Chef is just sending me photos from the Zara changing room. Very cute indeed. I think he looks really nice in this one, personally. He doesn't know that I'm like balls deep in my video right now, so. This probably isn't the right order to do it in, but I always do my waterline first. I'm really random, but I found this old Kylie Jenner brown sugar lip liner amongst my makeup and I actually really like it as like a waterline eyeliner because I like brown because I've got like brown hazel eyes so I just really like the kind of brown you know so I'm gonna smash this in sorry but can you not do that with your mouth closed like I literally can't so maybe I'll just skip <laughs> I've just realized that's why I looked like doing that <sighs> Who, can't, who does their eyeliner not like this? Let me just try and do it normal. No, that's not saying you've got to stretch your face out of you. Um, I'll come back to you when this is in. <sighs> I am absolutely screaming at the reality, the reality check I've just had. What an actual hoot. Okay, I've just put a bit of the brown into the waterline. So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I pretty much do the same thing all the time. I always do like a brown, but I'm using the very messy, but it's not really an eyeshadow palette, it's not really messy. Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is what I'm using today. Oh, so colorful, I just love it. I feel so professional right now. I'm gonna go in with this shade, which you can see that I use all the time. I use it as a base. So I'm just gonna use this one in the crease. I don't have a crease, I have hooded eyelids, so I have to do my makeup to reflect said hoods. So I go in quite high up with my base colour, going nice and high to give me a bit more of an illusion of a crease and I'll take it in here as well to do a bit of a nose contour, learnt that one from Charlotte, what babe, I'm going to kind of do this for a little while and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side, oh it's very windy outside, Storm Eunice is out staying his welcome or her, okay so I've done a few kind of layers of this base shade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a bit of a goldy kind of vibe. So I'm gonna use this very orangey tone brown, this one here, and I'm gonna kind of put this all over, all over the lid. I am just using the same brush and I will blend and buff it out like shortly. I do really like this color, it's like a very warm yellowy brown. And then I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. It does go really well with my new hair, which we haven't mentioned yet. But I did have my hair done uh, about three days ago. I haven't actually had it done since I went from blonde to brunette. So I'll link my blonde to brunette transformation. Watch that one next. But I haven't had it done since then. And it was definitely just like needing a little freshen up. And I went a little bit darker. And I feel very sassy with my new darker locks. So I love it. Right, I'm actually really glad we're going out tonight because we've started watching Love is Blind series too. I say started watching, we have fully caught up. And if you're watching it as well, Netflix are doing this very annoying thing where they don't release all the episodes. Like, Netflix is there to be binge watched. Like, don't they understand that? That is their niche, you binge watch Netflix shows. Like, anyway, they are releasing the rest of it next Friday. They saved a few for Friday yesterday, which we caught up with. And now the rest of it's out next Friday. So if you haven't watched Love is Blind yet, it is fantastic, but the cliffhanger is real. Very annoying. Right, I'm doing that same colour underneath now with like a little Charlotte Tilbury brush. Trying to keep my mouth closed during this. Struggling with it, to be honest. I can't, I can't close my mouth and do my eyes, but who, who can, really? So if you can see the colour, it's like a lovely yellowy, browny colour. I really like it. So I feel like we've got the base. I'm just going to blend that out now with a Morphe blending brush and just make sure it's like nice and even across the lid and then i'm going to go in with some like gold on top i'm going to use this flat morphe brush now this gold color there this one here i'm going to pat that directly onto the lid can you see how nice that color is it's really pigmented this is the thing with having like hooded eyelids you've got kind of sweep everything up but i mean everyone likes that kind of almond eye shape anyway don't they i'm just going to put the, put it also on the other side and put a little bit underneath my eyes as well I think that's good for my eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm just gonna do like a winged eyeliner now. <sighs> I'm just using the Clinique 
eyeliner. I've zoomed in to do my eyeliner, even though you probably don't want to take this advice. As I said, I've got hooded eyes, so you need to bring the eyeliner out and then up, because if I, if I just go up, then as you can see, when my eye is closed, it's just going to be like two bumps. So you've got to bring it out and then around. So I learned this on a YouTube video. So hopefully I can do this with the pressure of you staring at me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's all right. So I just, I kind of draw the line first. I'm gonna draw the line on the other side, try and make sure it's even-ish. But ultimately, if you point it up towards your the end of your eyebrow, you can't really go far wrong. I'll kind of just fill it in from there then. So that's one eye done, quite happy with that actually. And then I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. And then I'm just gonna kind of draw in like a very light, line across the eyelid and relax that is my winged eyeliner done should we zoom out a bit now yeah i like this one because it dries really quickly i think like the problem i've had before in the past is that because of my eyelids when i shut my eye then the eyelid gets all the eyeliner on top of it but i don't get that with this one which is why i really like it so i'm just gonna glue my lashes i'm just using a pair of these are the cheryl isla strip lashes so I'm gonna glue them and then leave the glue to dry for a minute. That's a really good tip. If you don't know how to put on strip lashes, put your glue on them first, put them down and do your mascara and then put them on. You can't you can't just like put them on from being like wet glue because they, they will not stay. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on so they just like blend a bit better. So I'm using the one I always use, which is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Love this one. So I'll just do like a little layer. I need to get a bit up close and personal with my mirror. And then we'll shove the lashes on top. So yeah, just like a little layer. My lashes are quite long naturally, but I do like a full strip. So I'm just gonna kind of bend my strips in the middle, make sure they're dry. And then I'm basically just gonna place the lash on. This is the second time I've worn these. They have gone a bit misshaped, but we'll do our best. I mean, these aren't the best strip lashes I've ever used. They're a bit misshaped, but hopefully as I wear them, they will start to uh, marry up into the rest of my lash. Like, that's literally how I put them on. I just place them on. It always works for me. Okay, so that's lashes done. I don't have much left to do now, which is great news. I'm gonna set my face with the, this is actually one of my favorite makeup products of all time. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and I'm using the shade one, and I'm putting it on with a Real Techniques sponge. I'm just pressing it in, and then pressing it underneath my eyes and kind of just where I put the concealer really and then my forehead as well I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna do my blusher because <laughs> another great makeup artist tip is Charlotte said to do your blusher last because once you kind of marry up your eyes with your lip color and everything that's when you know what kind of shade you want your blusher to be which I thought was just fantastic so uh, lips I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. It's my go-to lip liner. And then I'm gonna use Velvet Teddy MAC Lipstick, which is just a classic. And then I'll put a bit of a paler one on top. So I don't have much of a natural Cupid's bow, so I do try and like draw on a Cupid's bow, if that makes sense. And then I kind of fill it in with the liner as well. So I don't just do the liner, I kind of fill it in all over, because that way you kind of get just like a more even liner, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in with the Velvet Teddy and when I do my lipstick, I literally just like pat it on like this. Just dab it on. I never swipe it on. Also never use a brush, probably should. Then I kind of use my finger to push it in. It's a really nice brownie nude, but it looks much nicer with like my dark hair. Cause when I was blonde, I always used to wear MAC Kinda Sexy and that was more of like a pinky nude. But with my dark hair, I just have like brownie nudes. And then I'm gonna go on top with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Cover Star, like a much nuder nude, so you'll see. This one just kind of pales it up a bit. You can see that's like a light nude. So those two together, that's obviously like more of a ready nude, but I really like mixing these two together. For blusher, I've decided I want it to be a bit more like brownie, nudie, goldy. It's just not a very pink blusher. It's more of like a nudie, like brownie blusher. 
and this is Mac in Ginger Lily. I'm just gonna pop this on the apples, but I highly recommend doing your eyes and lips and then doing your blusher, because it's actually been a real game changer for me for just making the whole look a bit softer. And I do like a lot of blush. And then lastly, this is one of my current favorite makeup things to do, if I can find it. I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury eye, like winged eyeliner pen to draw on my freckles because I do have quite a lot of freckles on my face and I really like drawing them back on. I can see where they are, obviously they just look very faint because of the foundation, so I'm just gonna draw these back on. It just makes your makeup look a lot more natural as well. So just have a look where your normal freckles are and kind of draw them back on. I would love it if I had a makeup setting spray, but I don't. If you can recommend one, then hit me up. I'm not using any highlighter or anything today, I just don't really fancy it. Oh, actually, I do want to put a bit of, not highlighter, but I want to put a bit of this lighter shade in my inner corners. But that is me done. Woo, all finished. That is me done. I will catch up with you in a couple of hours when I'm getting dressed to go out, but I hope you enjoyed this kind of makeup tutorial if you will. I am trying to get better at doing my makeup so yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching this but I'll see you when I'm getting dressed. Oh god I nearly forgot we need to do the the normal kind of glam shots don't we? Let's go. I'm sorry but like how do these makeup tutorial channels do this? How do they kind of take themselves seriously? I'm such a loser. We are ready to go out now, aren't we? We are, ish. Need to put some shoes on. We decided to match because we like to match. All black everything. Comment below if you like to match with your other half, if you have one, or if you just <laughs> like to match with your bestie. I'm just wearing all black everything, black baggy pants, long sleeve black top, a bit of gold jewelry, some chunky trainers and you can't really go wrong. <laughs> Jeff's wearing a t-shirt from All Saints, trousers from All Saints, glass of wine from Lanark Vineyard. Uh, no, from, uh, what is glass. it, Oyster Bay? Yeah, I know that, yeah. yeah from the bands, Oyster uh, Bay. Oyster Bay. Yeah, nice. Yeah, New Zealand. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, which you clearly did, please give a like if you enjoyed it, which you clearly did, because you made it this far. Um, and subscribe, because I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which won't be a makeup tutorial, do not worry. It'll probably be something a little bit different. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, yeah. but it's gonna be great. So subscribe, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bon appetit. Bye. Cling, cling, mother. <laughs>